Hey y'all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art. I'm a mixed media artist and I love art journaling and all things mixed media and what's not. We have Keenan here. Hello, how are you? Good, are you asking me how I am? I'm or asking how you are. Oh, I'm great, thanks. They're in the right place, so I know they're good. <laughs> He's our art trailer, camera guy, you know, all the fun things. That's he gets to do all the fun things. I am all the fun things. <laughs> We're gonna make this project today. <laughs> We're calling it Mirror Mirror. Mirror Mirror. Mirror Mirror. It's kind of hard to say Mirror Mirror Mirror. mirror. Um, we're working in a fun theme right now called Once Upon a Time. And I think it's just going to be like this fun um, theme to work in because it's, you know, kind of going back to our roots. So I'm going to read the theme. Okay. For as long as we can remember, fairy tales have begun with Once Upon a Time or in a land far away. We know what comes next will enchant us and transport us to a place of wonder and magic. This month's Art Journal products projects are your chance to visit with your fairy art mother and follow your dreams. <laughs> so I just thought it could be a lot of fun. Um, last year we did a theme um, called Momentary Wonder where we kind of revisited some childhood memories and, yeah. um, and processed those kind of things in our journal. And I kind of wanted to play around with that theme in a new way. So that's what we're doing. Sweet. Okay, so the project we're gonna do is Mirror Mirror. That was our theme. We have a prompt that goes along with this and we have supplies and all kinds of things. So I'm gonna just lay all that out for you. Today, for the theme, for all the projects we'll be doing in this theme, we're gonna use these supplies and I'm gonna tell you about them. We are going to use Dina Wakely acrylic paint in black, in sky, in sand, and we are going to use this stickles and it is um, solar flare. So I'm just gonna give you a little sneak of that. Can you see that beauty? Awesome. So shiny. So good. We also, we're going to use this Jelly Roll pen, the number 10, it's awesome. I love using that. Um, your subscription box also comes with um, some Yes Paste in this fun little container. Um, I just go for the big guy these days. Mm -hmm, this, mm -hmm. You just can't go wrong with this. No. This is good stuff. That thing will last you a while too. Forever, it seems like. Um, and so those, are, so those are supplies. Oh, let me show you. So if you're new here, we use prompts prompt cards and technique cards and mix and match them for projects. So um, this was a project card. So we have this awesome collage paper that I designed um, with words that we can play around with, a fairy, and some fun kind of wallpaper stuff. That is fun. So for this project, you will need your stickles, your black paint, your yes paste, and collage paper, this piece of collage paper here. And that's it, so this is a simple one, but I love it. Okay, let's talk about the prompt that inspired this project um, for Mirror Mirror. Let's rewrite the fairy tale of, uh, of the fairest of them all. <laughs> Instead of focusing on outer beauty, how can you reflect on your beauty in words that represent who you are, not just what you look like? Ooh, I like that. So, I think it's it's important. It's kind of like when we did um, positive affirmations. It's important when we're journaling to to give ourselves that kind of feedback, right? Um, because the world is going to tell us otherwise, and it's up to us to cultivate those other things in our life and creating our own happiness and our own experience. Yeah. You so gotta, you got to trust yourself. You got to compliment yourself every day. <laughs> you know, look at me and say, hey. You're doing great today. You don't need to ask the mirror who the fairest of them no. all is. You already know. You know the answer. You know. You know. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to cut my paper right down the middle here. And I'm not too worried about making it straight because I know I'm going to cut this edge off anyway. So easy peasy. You can use scissors or a craft knife, whatever you got around. Okay. Now, of course, you're going to need your journal. Gonna, I think I'm gonna start this right here. I like it. I like to bend back my paper a little bit so it will lay flat. Ooh, that's really laying flat. I'm liking that. You gotta train that journal. Yeah. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna paste this down. That's gonna be our first step. It's an easy step. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Starting it out easy. Yeah. Some of our projects are more complex than others, and I think it's nice to have like a fast finish too. Especially when it's like the first, maybe it's the first project that you're tackling for this theme. Feels good. 
feels good for it to just be easy sometimes. I agree, complete. I mean, they're all easy. They're all beginner friendly for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, and this, I'm just putting the yes paste in a thin layer and I put it on there and then I just scrape it um, to move it around and make that layer more thin. I, is that in the right spot for them to see that this is actually happening? Yes. Okay. It, it's very shiny. Oh, okay. So it's nice. I just love Yes Pay so much. If you've been here, you know this. But the reason that I like it is because it's slow drying. So that means we have more time to work with it. It means we have more options to change our mind. <laughs> as far as placement? Mm-hmm can move it and shift it around before it dries. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to line up my straight edge, which is the paper, not the part that I cut, with my center of my journal. And I like to come in just a little bit, not quite all the way to the crack and bend of that middle page, just because I know when my paper folds that it will catch if it's not over just a little bit. Does that make mm, sense? Yeah. So you can kind of see that I didn't go right, right to the edge. But when you're flipping through the journal, never notice that. And a little breathing room. Yeah, you won't have anything hanging your paper up there. My hands are a little sticky. If your hands are sticky and you got paint water nearby, you can unstick your fingers that way. That's what I do. Okay, that's, that's feeling good. now move that out and then we can flip our page over and trim it um, and if you've got an extra so I, act, I put a lot of glue on there just not sure where it was going to go just gonna grab this extra thing here so I can kind of put my hand down without getting sticky and I'm just gonna take my exacto and run it along the edge of my paper to cut that nice and snug. Snug as a bug in a rug. Yeah. I read that somewhere. My friend Desiree watched my kids so I could go to a movie and she tucked them in bed and said snug as a bug and my kids love it and now they want me to do it all the time. Aw. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. Okay. Let's, oh, I just stuck my hand in glue but that is the story of my life. <laughs> So just running that to the edge. Now I still have that little bit of the curve of our paper that I'll do. But. And if you're at an angle where it doesn't feel natural to cut that way, then don't do it. Turn your page so that you can cut where it's easier for you. Yeah, you're the owner of that paper. Mm -hmm. You good. put it where you want it. Everything's sticking to me. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, and then we got the bottom. This is looking good. Make sure you're pressing it all the way down. There we go. And now I'm just gonna trim around that corner. I designed these journals with rounded corners because I thought they would um, hold up over time at turning the pages and whatnot. Mm. And I kind of like the look of it. But that's the only trick is this for the rounded, it's a little bit more difficult, but you can do it. I believe in you. Yeah, you got it. But if you're ever wondering why it's rounded, that's why. Awesome, so we got our background. That was easy, easy. Then I'm just gonna use my hands to smooth that out and make it nice and flat. And I kind of feel like this looks like wallpaper, which is fun. It does look like wallpaper. And now we can add our stickles to it. And I'm gonna use that same palette knife I used for my glue. I'm just gonna wipe it off. My paper towel here. Just move my yes paste over here. Always put the top back on your yes paste so it doesn't dry out. Now, if you if you have one of these containers with the yes paste, um, we're trying out a new container where. Um, it stays fresher. If for any reason you have 
glue that over time, maybe you left the lid off or, uh, or whatever, and it gets dry. You can put a little drop of water in there, a um, couple drops of water, and then put the cap back on and let it sit in there and um, absorb it. And then it will soften the glue and make it usable again, which is another reason why I love Yes Paste. Um, it's water soluble that way. So you can just reconstitute it. I love that. For that, is there a point of no return? Have you seen? No, I've always been able to reconstitute it. That's super cool. Yeah, super cool. It's like magical paste. Yes. Full of yeses. <laughs> yes. All dry, yes. Need me to be used again? Yes. Add water, please. Yep. Yes. Paste. Yes. Yes. Paste. Okay, now we're gonna use this solar flare. Stickles. So I'm just gonna get it on here on my palette knife, that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna spread it around in spots. I remember seeing this beautiful wallpaper in an old home in Mississippi that was kind of like this design, um, but it had raised like flock sort of velvety texture to it. And I just thought that was so cool. And so that made me imagine like, what if that old fancy wallpaper had some sparkle to it? I mean, that could be cool. And the fun thing about the stickles is it has like, little tiny glittery bits in it. And then it has these little stars that you can manipulate and put wherever you want. See that? So it takes a minute for it to dry so you have some time to like play around with it. And you can get as detailed as far as adding this on there or as sloppy as you want. It's still gonna look awesome, I think. What do you think uh, Stickle's posture is on how it sticks to the paper? <laughs> He didn't love to tell me to get my posture right so that everyone can see. And I'm so appreciative of that. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a roast. But it was just no, like, a, no, I really like I, that. Okay. I'm just really grateful for that. <laughs> so, yeah, just have fun applying this on there. It's a good time, you know. I found many uses for this stuff. And the nice thing is, it's like, hey, I have glitter without the mess because it's in this gel form so you don't have glitter everywhere. I hadn't even thought of that until you said that to me because my my daughters, they like shiny, shimmery, glittery things. Mm -hmm. And that stuff gets everywhere. Yeah, well, my daughter just recently had a birthday party mm -hmm. and we painted seashells because it was a mermaid theme and then we added this on there and it was so fun. It's so cute. So there's lots of things you can do with this. Lots of things besides your art journal. I mean, I bet you can come up with all kinds of things. And I think um, my girls decided they want to put their seashells in our in our fairy garden, which I think is fun. So That'd be you, cute. You could probably use this for some fairy garden fun if you were into that too. I, love I mean, fairy gardens. This is what the theme we're in. So this is what I'm thinking about <laughs> all the fairy tales applications. Yeah, fairy gardens are fun. I think. And I'm always looking for ideas for our fairy garden, so if you're one of those. I want to look at other fairy garden examples mm -hmm. just to see, you know, what you're, what you're working towards. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just putting this on the white part, but you could do the opposite. You know, you could put the glitter in the negative space. It's your magic wall. So I was just imagining this mirror on a castle wall with beautiful wallpaper. Now I am too. It's like 18 karat gold mm -hmm. paint. With stars. When the stars align. As a grown up, I don't have like a lot of glitter opportunities. My girls have really brought a lot of glitter into my life, but I kind of like revisiting, you know, the fairy tales. It's fun. Well, fairy tales are, listen, I'm a, I'm a sucker for fairy tales. I love me some stories. They're so fun. They are. Well, and I think there's something to like kind of hanging out with your younger self, your inner child, as far as art goes and allowing yourself to have some fun just playing. I think it sparks new ideas and creativity when you're not trying to take things so seriously. And, uh, we're not taking things seriously right now. We're playing with glitter, so. Absolutely. There's a there's like a, a sense of 
free, carefree attitude mm-hmm. in your inner child that really unlocks the creativity juices. <laughs> I Just like lets that. them flow. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm feeling good about that. What do you think? Can you see that, all that glitter goodness? Yeah, super is... shimmery and shiny. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so we can let that dry and move on to the next step. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Beautiful. Okay, so I made this mirror on a separate piece of paper and I just drew it, but I also, for our friends who don't want a free hand, you can use the graphite paper that came in your box that I left over here. <laughs> now I've used this one a couple times. That you don't was need a good it. reach. Thank you. Yeah. You don't need to be precious with your um, graphite paper. I mean, the more you use it, the better it is. Okay. okay. That was just me. It's graphite good. paper has feelings too, <laughs> It's like I remember the first time I told Sarah to do that, our watercolor artist, and I was like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> but it's true. It's not a big deal. Okay. So extra piece of paper, whatever white paper you got, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna flip this over because I think there's still glue on it. Okay. Now you can freehand your mirror if you're feeling good about that or you can use um, this template that I have for that as well. That's a shoe. This is a shoe, you're right. And this <laughs> is a mirror, <laughs> this guy. I'm gonna use just like this blue painter's tape. Stick it down. I'm actually gonna flip this over because I think my crinkling already got a little bit of that on there. Okay. So, I mean, you don't have to be precious with this. It's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna draw my circle inner circle first and I'm just tracing over this shape and if you slip it's okay you can just go back because this inside of the mirror and the handle and all that's gonna be black so if you're gonna err on the side of having your pin move you can just do it towards the inside can mirrors see posture I don't know I don't either I probably should start wearing glasses because I want to be closer. <laughs> but I don't want to admit that I might need glasses yet. I'm not ready. I'm not Jesse, ready for that, I y'all. Got, I got glasses at 25. You can get. You can say. You don't glasses. say my age. <laughs> you can say it at, at 32. <gasps> Keenan, is that old? You think I am? <laughs> I just said that you can say it at 32. Okay, I didn't fine. Say old. Age is relative. Beauty is relative. All of this. Exa- it's not how we look on the outside. It's how we feel on the inside. That's right. That's why we're rewriting this mirror, mirror business. That's right. I love that um, some of the fairy tales are being reimagined with different stories right now in movies. I don't so know cool. if I'm familiar with what you're talking about, but I love Well, like they redid it. Maleficent. Oh, like, I haven't seen that. Um... You know, because she's kind of a bad guy in the yeah. original movie. And um, kind of give insight to maybe what her why, what her why was. And oh. it makes, makes, I'm not going to ruin it for you, okay? okay. You've got to see it. Is it like a documentary? Because that would actually be really fun. It's like, like they're interviewing, what's her name? Maleficent? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Maleficent. Mus- Maleficent. Maleficent. Now you're questioning whether I can say it or not, making me question. No, now I don't know how to say it. <laughs> um, okay, so we're just going to paint our mirror with some black paint. This is brand new paint. hasn't even been used yet. I'm going to use my number eight. If you have a thinner brush, you can do that. It's whatever. I'm not going to wet my brush a lot. I'm just gonna, this is going to be straight paint. And... If you go out of the lines, it's okay because we're going to trim this out. Like, if you go out of the lines that way, you know. We just yeah. want to avoid going out of the lines on the middle part. Okay. Okay. 
Now, like it's funny, as soon as I get a paintbrush in my hand and I really start painting, I slow down. I can feel my breath slowing down. Like, mm. And a lot of times I like to set an intention and take a deep breath and I forgot to do that today, but just the brush reminding me to take a deep breath. So if you're needing a deep breath right now, just do it. <sighs> just breathe. And I think it's important to focus on how you feel while you're making art not just the outcome of the art. Ooh. I think that kind of goes along with our theme and it's something to, to think about. I agree with that. Because I think the benefits of how I feel about making art are so great that even if I didn't make anything that I wanted to show anybody else, I would still be better for it, you know? Yeah. You would feel better for it at least. Yeah. I agree. And sometimes, you're pleasantly surprised by how the end result is. Oh, yeah. I or, mean, a lot of times I want, I'm okay with showing what I made, you yeah. know? <laughs> I'm, I'm generally okay with showing what I art, whether it's good or not, in the, the realm of good or bad, whatever that means, because I feel good about creating it. So if we just can all focus on the creation aspect, then we'll be, I feel like we'll be just happier. Yeah, totally. Now this mirror, because I used the shape to draw, it might be a little smaller than the mirror that I drew originally, but you can draw any kind of mirror you want. You can do a different shape entirely. You can do one of those kind of square battle looking mirrors, you know, like the Ooh, ones that are like this. Cool. And, or you could do a more ornate mirror. You could even do glitter on your mirror. I mean, you can get crazy. I just inhaled so fast at that idea that I almost made myself choke. I was really excited about the glitter. I was laughing because you got excited, not because that you might choke, just so you know. <laughs> no, I get it. I mean, I did laugh at you when you spilled paint everywhere. You that was did. fun times. That did happen. That that's one okay. Time. That was a good time. I basically created art on my clothing mm -hmm. that I can never wear again. Well, you could wear it again, and you would have a great story and memory. Now your clothing has a story. <laughs> That's, it has a background, a rap sheet, if you will. <laughs> it's seen some things. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like it was bound to happen. You have daughters, you work for an art company. How come you don't have pink paint on your clothes already? I'm very careful. <laughs> very, very careful. <laughs> I just, I work really hard at my posture, so that's why I have less paint on my... I don't believe that's true at all. <laughs> I was really into it. I forgot that. No, I know. That's, you're good. I actually just have a full body suit that's plastic, <laughs> and it's completely covered in paint. <laughs> I want to see this. Except for it's around my face, it's just empty. It's like a reverse Spider-Man outfit. All right. <laughs> so same rules apply here. <laughs> I'm still laughing about that. Okay, when you're painting, if it doesn't feel comfortable, then move your page. You know? Don't try to make it hard oh, for yourself. Yeah. Rotate that thing. Page doesn't tell you what to do. No. You the boss. You the boss. Paper has pretty good posture. Really? What is happening right now? Am I, is my head in the shot that much that you just keep saying posture or are you teasing me? I don't know what's happening. Definitely the head thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, we almost got this. Just a couple of more spots to darken and smooth out. Let's see, I'll turn it this way. Oh, that looks good. Thanks. I 
I think there's a way to use a circle to make an oval, but I can't remember how. Okay. I'm gonna have to trust you on that one. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Because I'm pretty sure there's a way. I'm saying that because if someone wants to use this outline, but they want a circle, or they want an oval, I think you can just do like half the circle, and then like the top half, and then pull the outline down a little bit. Okay. And then you would do the rest of it, but make the slightly straight line between the two points. Does that make sense? So you do an arch, you pull the outline down, and then you do a smiley, and you connect the two things you make. I don't think I've ever done that. I think that would work. Okay, I'm just drying the paint so we can trim it out. I'm just going to use my exacto. I'm just going to go along the edge. And, I mean, if you go right between the white and the black, then you might still get a little bit of white, but if you come right inside the black as you're cutting, it might work a little better. Does that make sense? Yes. I love that sound. The cutting? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's got, it's like a little bit crispier because the paint yeah, it's is crispy. on there. Do you like crispy brownies or soft brownies? Is that even a question? No, no. Can you hear me out? Because sometimes the edge of a brownie with a little bit more crisp mm -hmm. is just delightful. Yeah, no. If I can make, eat brownies with all sides being that way, I would. I've even seen like special pans where it's like they make for, it where there's the more edge, opportunity the for edges. That love edges, yeah. I think I need one of those in my life. One of those pans. You do. You do. If you use it, let me know when you get one. Well, if I use it, I would bring brownies in. You would know. Yes. <laughs> Almost there. Got one little spot hanging on. We did it. And then you could use this for, I don't know, something else. You could make that another outline. Yeah. Okay, so this mirror is slightly smaller than the one that I did before, but it's gonna be great. And I have a little bit of that graphite paper kind of rubbed against that, but I think that kind of makes the mirror look a little reflective. So we're going with it. Oh, yeah. Now, I included a bunch of different sentiments here, and I'm pretty sure they won't all fit on there, but. Um, you can, oh, my, my, my glitter's not quite dry yet. Um, <clears throat> you can just pick whatever ones that you're feeling like. I'm going to put Hey Beautiful on there for sure. So I'm going to cut that out first. Hey Beautiful. <laughs> and I'm just going to trim around it like, not like a straight edge, but just kind of a curvy little shape. I think that's cool. And if you wanted, you could try your hand at lettering and um, do your own sentiment as well. I just thought I'd give you a couple of things to inspire you and then you could take it however you want. I lettered these with a brush and I had a lot of fun practicing my lettering when I did that. And if you're wanting more instruction for lettering, we have lettering videos. What? <laughs> Keenan is in a lot of them. I don't letter. As an art cheerleader. I'm an art cheerleader, primarily. But yeah, we do. We have a lot of lettering tutorials. So if lettering is something you want to include in your journaling. We have a we great have lettering a um, beginner series, too. Yeah, it's a great place to start. Mm -hmm. I didn't impress hard when I was cutting this. 
so I didn't get a good clean cut, so I'm going back over it. It might be time for me to change my blade. It might be getting a little dull. Mm. I've experienced a dull blade before. Yeah, I think that's what's going on here. Let's see. Trim that off. A lot of times, I would keep an extra blade in there, but I used it already. It's not so bad. We'll keep going, but. That's unfortunate. Keeping a clean, keeping the, the extra blade in there is a good, good thing to do. Okay, I'm gonna put that, I think I'm liking that right there. Oh, this is fun. And you can put UR on there if you like. So it's like the mirror's talking to you. I'm gonna do that, I like that. And I'm just roughly cutting this. I'm not trying to be precious. It's gonna be great. And I'm gonna cut them out and then just figure out how I'm gonna arrange it. I like that. Kind of like the idea of how your collage paper there is losing different words. And that can be a fun, uh, like a redacted, like a spy page. Ooh, I like that. Does that make you think of a spy glass, the mirror, too? <sighs> totally. Your brain went there. I'm going to put mindful, because right now I'm making art, and I am having a mindful art experience. Oh. It's stuck to my pa my. <laughs> there we go. You're mindful. That's important. I like being helpful. I'm gonna put that on there. Keenan's very helpful too. Thank you. So if you were if you had a mirror mirror, I would say you should have helpful on there. When I think about the people that are helpful, they're also mindful. They're aware of of people around them. Mm. It's a really good trait. Keenan's very aware of people around him. Mm. You know, if you got your hands full and you're trying to open the door, Keenan's there. That's true. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Oh, yeah, aware. That's one of those words on there. I'm putting it on there. That's a great word. We're just going to make this about Keenan now. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> aware. Dun, 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 dun. Whatever, it's on there. We're going to rearrange it. Um, I really appreciate people who have the trait of being peaceful. It's not something that comes naturally to me. It's something I have to work at. And so I really enjoy being around people who make me feel peaceful. Mm. Do you almost have enough yes paste on that mat to make it a really helpful extra hand when you take the paper <laughs> off? It just holds on, you know what I mean? <laughs> You know, just to add a bonus of not cleaning off my mat very often. Yeah. We do that on purpose. Okay, I'm going to start gluing these down and then I'll see if I want to add another word. I told you this one was going to go fast. This one's so fun. Thanks. Okay, now I got glitter on my Yes Paste palette knife. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, it's simple, it's easy, but it's a good thing to spend your time thinking about. And making something with your hands and assigning like thoughts to it, I think help us slow down and really like absorb what we're thinking, you know, or what we're, what positive thing we're focusing on, which is good. That is good. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta glue my mirror down first. That mirror just wants to live, Jesse. It wants to spread its wings and roll around. Show everyone their beauty. Yeah. Magic beauty inside. I like it. I like where you're going with this. The mirror song is, I can show you yourself. <laughs> well, now I kind of want my mirror to have wings when you talk wings about it that way. You can add wings to your mirror. That could be cool. Ooh, that would be cool. This is just the beginning. Of an idea, it could get, it can go lots of That'd different be ways. Crazy. Yeah. Whoop. 
Okay, my hands are a little sticky, so I wanna get that glue off my hands before I put my hands back on there to smooth it out, because then I'll get glue on the top, which wouldn't be the worst, but. I have more words for the mirror song. I wanna hear it. Okay, so, so then he would sing, uh, <laughs> then he would sing, I'm shining, shimmering, you're splendid. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you are not scared to sing and make up words. It's it my a, favorite. It was a little flat, but it's a rough draft. I didn't think it was flat. Thanks. See, in those times when you think you're flat, people might just be enjoying what you're doing. So, like, if that, your art is not feeling like if something, your art feels flat. It's probably it's, not. It's probably 3D to somebody else. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> I hope y'all are having as good a time as we are. <laughs> See, I was able to just shift that over a little bit. I was like, oh, no, I wanted the middle. Woo! And it did it because it's yes paste. You should put one. Do you have the word posture on there? Because that would be a really good. Hey, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. Your posture is great. Your posture is awesome. Your, or just says <laughs> your posture. That would be funny. Yeah. Wait, was that a comment on my posture? Was it not good right now? Which I, one? Just now? What do you mean? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I stuck it to that my board. That is a stubborn <laughs> piece of paper right there. This is my friend. It's like doing surgery with a scalpel. <laughs> I get that back. All right, I'm gonna shift that a little bit more. See, I was still able to shift that. It's the best. That is the best. Um, Jesse. I know. I got it. Okay. Thank you. I was like, I have to see it though. <laughs> <laughs> they want to see it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay. I'm just going to use this piece of paper back up here so I stop getting glue on my board. Okay. Let's smooth that out. You are helpful. Thank you for being helpful, Keenan, and making sure my head's out of the shot. You're welcome. Helpful. Mindful. Where do I want to put that one? Hold on, let me get to think about this. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Put it right there. That one sticky finger could pick up those words really easily. <laughs> what is that one on the bottom of the mirror? What does that say? Aware. Aware. Got it. I thought it said more. Oh, are you reading it upside down? I don't think. I don't, no, I don't think so. But I just thought it said more, which I actually kind of like. You are says, more? Hey, you are more. More than what this mirror can show you. You are exactly what you need to be right now. Exactly. You are more than what's just on the surface. Mm -hmm. Embrace it. Yeah, and you could even put the title Mirror Mirror on there if you want. Like I have this. See if we want to add that to it or if we want to leave it off. Murmur. Mirror, mirror. It's a hard one. I thought I was going to leave it fine, like what you said. I, I was, was really like, excited. I didn't cut it well enough. I it Otherwise, I didn't get it would have been. It's fun, that sticky one. Yeah, so you can you can put that there if you like, or down here. Oh, or you can make good. a double spread and journal more about Mirror Mirror. Ooh. Whatever you want to do. I, I think I like it like this. Oh, I need a little more glue under there. Just a little titch. That did it. Very nice. I like this little mirror. It's fun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you guys, you are beautiful. You are awesome. And 
you made time for art and I'm so proud of you for that. I hope that um, you enjoyed making this with us and um, I can't wait to see what words that you chose or how you like interpret this idea. Um, I love seeing what you make and I love that we have this really cool community of people and um, a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Journals that shares you know, what they make and what they do and how they um, approach these projects in new ways and inspire us even more. And I also hope that you can bring a little bit of this awareness into the rest of your day. That awareness of like making art and how it makes you feel and um, cultivating, you know, thoughts about yourself um, that might be different from, you know, what the world brings to us all the time in our attention and everything that's happening, right? Um, you're awesome. Thanks so much for being here and we'll see you next time. Bye.